Hello, and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Uh, we're looking at the day before remix. I need to think of a name. If you have a name, put it in the comments, I guess. But I need to think of a name so that I can stop calling it the day before remake. <laughs> Because technically it's not that, but it's it's kind of evolving into its own thing, which is great. Uh, and I thought, although I only gave you an update like a week ago, I thought we've done, I, I've done a lot of stuff in the meantime to uh, warrant another update. Um, I mentioned last time that obviously I've done a lot of planning. That planning has kind of paid off because so many of the mechanics are going in now that it's actually feeling a lot more like a game. Um, which I'm, obviously I'll show you in a moment. Uh, there's still a ton of stuff to do. We're only in April. I gave myself to the end of the year. And I feel like with for four months, a lot's kind of happened. Which is really, really good. Hopefully you guys will enjoy what you see. Um, so I'm going to jump straight over into that. So you can um, really get a good idea of what's taking place. Okay, so straight away you can see um, the you know, we've got some houses in here. I did put a picture up uh, the other day for everyone to see that we've kind of got this very small neighborhood to kind of play around with at the moment. If I zoom out, you can see that's all there is. But th this is a, just a test area. I'm not going to, I'm not trying to actually create the, the world right now. The world building uh, kind of level design side of things will come uh, sort of second half of the year. So for now, it's not. Like, if you look at it, it's all in segments as well. It really isn't the final product. Uh, it's not worthy of the final product at all. This is just to give us kind of an idea of how the world will look. Um, yeah, and I've kind of just kind of, you can see I've gone for the over grass, uh, the overgrown grass kind of effect as well. Uh, we've got like a crappy car crash kind of thing. It, it it's just as I say, it's all just for testing, so we can kind of see um, what will happen towards the end of production. Um, this is all purely just to give you an idea. I'm waffling. Sorry, I do apologize. Right. So yeah, so we've got a, a very small test area. I've also started to fill out. This is the only one that's done so far, but I've kind of just uh, chucked a few things in here. Again, this is more just to give you an idea of. Uh, what to kind of expect, I guess. Um, and I'm trying to make everything as modular as possible so it'll speed up development down the line. So, for example, it, this house, all of its storage components are wired into here. Um, so you can see everything highlighted is part of one blueprint. And um, by doing this, uh, it will speed me up because I can just plonk these down and then fill up the details around it. And I don't have to worry about pulling out individual BPs just for the same storage that will go into the same type of house. Because we might reuse assets in different areas. Like you might find that one house type is another house type in another area. And it's just to save me time uh, placing assets down when we come to the world building uh, segment of uh, development. So let's press play. And we'll have a look at our lovely multiplayer guys give them a second to load in might take a couple of seconds there we go um so if i drag mm, let's do this in a more sensible manner let's give ourselves the opportunity to see both um but i also need to be able to see uh, that so uh, eke it out a little bit there we go that should work right okay so we have our Character, as you probably all are all aware, uh, in the last episode we managed to get shooting done and picking up items. Well, I have obviously changed things around a little bit in the sense that um, we can uh, now actually equip items. So let's have a look. Now, there's nothing actually set up for this area yet. I need to change everything, but you can see you can go up to things and open them up. Uh, please ignore my test icons as well. Uh, but we can loot everything uh, if it has something in there. So if we go up to this one, you can see now, again, these items are not going to be in here. This is all purely for testing. But we've got three items here we can grab. So we have a backpack, we have a body armor, and we have a mask. 
so it all equips it to the to the player um if i go up to some of these uh, we have some guns here as well we can grab and attach now if we want to take this out we can just double click on that and it'll go back into our inventory if i click on an item I, again i don't have an item to hand but if i have an item that is already equipped like let's say for example a pistol and i grab out a second pistol it will go into and swap those items around as well so we can now go out here say hello to our friend while we've got all of our lovely equipment on and he can now see that we are fully armored up and ready to go. I can get my gun out. And the other thing I did now, if you remember last time, we didn't have the um, actual damage being taken away. It was just shooting as, as, as at its core. But now we can attack and kill our friend here. And um, yeah, so the kind of core PvP element is there. Uh, we can kill other players and um obviously run around and loot so you, your core game mechanic is near enough finished uh there's obviously some tweaking to do and things like that but um the next kind of few steps basically be tackling now is um things like dropping loot on death um obviously being able to leave the server and head back to a kind of player hub so i need to build a player hub as well um and of course, there's a bunch of other stuff. Please ignore the video memory. It's because my laptop is incredibly poor uh, and doesn't like playing in multiplayer a lot of the time. So that will show up from time to time. Um, of course, there's lots of other things to do, like zombies and um, maybe world events. There's a bunch more content to do. But the, the core gameplay mechanic is there. We can loot, which is uh, you know a big portion of the game. We can uh enter that pvp element which again is another big portion of the game um and it's now just the, the the final core component is zombies and that kind of rounds out your core game mechanics those three segments uh zombie ai player pvp and looting those are your three core game mechanics which are as i say two-thirds of the way there is pretty good considering only in april Again, lots of things to do, lots of things to tweak. Uh, the other thing I didn't show is we can actually loot vehicles as well. So if we go to the boot of the car, we can it, loot will eventually spawn in here. There it will uh, be a 20% chance of loot spawning. Um, and you can see I had quite a lot of loot, uh, but that will be lowered. So there'll be um, less likely chances of having lots of loot in one container. Um, there's a few other areas I still need to also do for the player, like thirst and hunger. And I want to do the weather mechanic that they promised and didn't add in. Um, and I also need to finalize coding melee weapons. I haven't actually got any melee weapons in the game yet, so I need to add those in and code those in. But that won't be a problem. Um, there was another mechanic as well that a lot of people requested. I haven't looked at it yet, but I will do. And that was vaulting. That was something that was in the main, the original game that they never actually added, which was vaulting over walls. Um, so I will attempt to add that in the sense of vaulting over for example if we wanted to climb and jump over this fence we could do that or if we wanted to like vault over something a little bit lower we can do that as well that's the two things i'm going to aim for in terms of vaulting so uh for example if we couldn't see over this fence it was solid there could be zombies around here we don't know that but we could vault over there and jump into that or whatever i don't know you know the the possibilities are endless at this point so those are the two things that I know a lot of people have requested, which uh, I still need to add in. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or ideas or things you'd like me to have a look at, uh, potentially to add, please um, put them in the comments. Uh, that's the best way. Or join the Discord and let me know there. One or the other um, is the best way to uh, allow me to kind of get your thoughts and feelings on the game uh, thus far. Um and also just let me know what you think of the progress so far. Like, do you think it's looking good or do you think some things need tweaking? What could be better? What could be what what's, you know, uh, really, really good? You know, all those things. Feedback is key in these scenarios as well. So, yeah, as always, thank you so much, guys, for watching this update. And uh, if you're new here, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Much love. Take care. Bye.